Hola, mi gente. So, you know how um, when I do my little um, podcast, y'all, I don't usually say this on my videos, but I know I probably need to start telling y'all that I do have a radio podcast on Anchor. I usually keep the description, I usually keep the links at the description in the description box of my videos when I put stuff on YouTube, but I don't know. I guess I just felt like coming on here doing a video today. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see me good and clear. You know, I got my mask on. I do my thing. But I want y'all to be able to see me. Okay. Anyway. Maybe I should turn the thing this way. Oh. The hell. Anyway. So, I just came to tell y'all, like, okay, when I was younger, I used to dream stuff, right? And I know there's so many people out there that probably have their own natural psychic abilities and stuff like that. And they've been told to suppress that, you know, because it's it's not of God. But I'm here to tell you that that is your natural innate ability to dream. That is part of your intuition and part of your, your, your guides, what they call your spirit guides. Um, you can call them gods, your angels, whatever you want to call them. But it's basically your own intuition. And sometimes when you're sleeping, you know, we have three parts to our brain. We have the conscious, the subconscious, and the unconscious, okay? Our unconscious brain is constantly collecting unlimited energy. I mean, um, information. Unlimited information. This is why we have these moments that we call deja vu. We've been, I've seen this before. Because you don't remember seeing it, but you know it looks familiar to you because... Your unconscious mind collects unlimited information of rip from birth. It connects. You have information in your brain from birth, period. Because this is the way our minds was designed. Um, so we dream things and we could be dreaming about something that happened when we was newborn babies. And we like, dang, that dream, it seems so real, but... I don't know why I dreamt that. It could be something coming back from back then. That then traveled up something triggered that memory in your mind. Something you watched on TV could have triggered it. Something somebody said could have triggered it. Something that happened could have triggered it. And next thing you know, you go to sleep that night and now you done dreamt about it. And you're like, why did I have that dream? Those are your psychic abilities. And sometimes we don't connect those dots. Some of us don't even remember our dreams. But I'm going to tell you, if you remember your dreams... Their messages from the universe. Check out my podcast, y'all, on Anchor. Drop the mic with Mocha. That's one word. Y'all can go there. Y'all can subscribe. You know, if um you like my channel, you can also become an active sponsor. Either once a month or give a small donation. Whatever you want to do. If you don't want to do nothing, just click on it and listen to it sometime. That's fine by me, okay? Or any support is always appreciated, but... I was told when I was younger, when I used to have dreams and premonitions, right? Now, I talked about this on one of my podcasts. I had a dream when I was about eight or nine years old, right? And it was this Hispanic lady. She was very, very beautiful. She was pregnant. And we was on this big ship, this boat. It was just like a ship. And all I remember is the lady drowned. I can't, I don't even remember her falling in the water or nothing, but I remember the man what I want to say was her husband and the little boy was standing there with him. The little boy looked like he had to be maybe about seven or eight. The man took her. He picked her up. He laid her down on the floor on a, on a, on a, on a ship. She was soaking wet and he, they tried to revive her, but they couldn't. She was dead, but she was pregnant. Do y'all know that dream haunted me my whole life? I, that is one dream that will always come back to me. And I always wonder, why did I dream that? It had me scared, scared to go on boats and shit. Because I'm like, was, was I dreaming about myself? What the fuck? <laughs> you know what, I'm what the hell? But do y'all know that at 44, I'm just now, it's just now occurring to me with that dream then. So let me break this down. How your intuition and your own at natural psychic abilities and your dreams and shit all work. That dream... I had, I was dreaming about me. And the way I was dreaming about me is that lady that was in that dream was me in another lifetime. So she was an ancestor that's living through me now in this lifetime. Because you know, energy recycles, okay? So 
that pregnancy that she she had she didn't get a chance that was a mission she didn't get a chance to fulfill in her lifetime or in that lifetime or I didn't get a chance to fulfill in that lifetime and if I'm my ancestor recycled over again in this lifetime now I'm the one that's walking out that mission and it's funny because the water the drowning now I get what all that means all that shit was symbolizing the age of Aquarius y'all so the age of Aquarius because it represents higher consciousness and, 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 and hidden information becoming open to the public and somebody being the person to go out and speak this, this enlightenment and this higher consciousness. And has this not been what I've been doing? And this is when it hit me like, boom, bitch, you was dreaming. That was you in that damn dream. That was you. You are your ancestors. That's why I'm saying y'all better start paying attention to y'all dreams, y'all psychic abilities. When y'all start seeing numbers and sequences and you keep seeing, you keep say some people say they keep finding quarters everywhere. Why well, I keep finding quarters? You better look up and see what it means because the, the universe could be giving you messages. Now that dream stuck with me all my life. And for me to be where I am now, the age I am now, I am just now understanding what that dream meant. It was the age of Aquarius and that was that was my one of my ancestors that did not get a chance to fulfill that enlightenment, that walk, that journey of enlightened spiritual enlightenment. That was my that that dream was coming to me to tell me this is what I will be doing. I will be completing that task in my lifetime. I will be doing that in the, at going to the age of Aquarius. We living in the age of Pisces still. This is why religion and all that, that hierarchy stuff was taken over because that's what the age of Pisces represents. All the Roman empires and wars and crusades and all that type of stuff. This is what the age of Pisces represents, y'all. But guess what? We heading up out this joint, this boat, this ship is rolling by. And guess what? That Aquarius ship is rolling in. So I am that ancestor that I dreamt about. I didn't even know I was dreaming about an ancestor. Okay. Okay. And that man that was in the dream, that might end up being my husband. I don't think my husband going to look nothing like me. No, I don't know. I'm starting to understand how to depict this dream. And a lot of my dreams I'm able to understand. Um, I dreamt the other night my girl, her name is Cassie D., uh, she's all, she also has a podcast on Anchor. Her name, uh, she, hers is Cards and Conversations with a K. Okay. Um, she's also a natural psychic and a medium. Okay. She did a reading for me. The girl is dope. She was on point. I was like, I hate, I hate, girl. I got to come back and see you again. I hate, I hate. And I don't want to buy me some cards. My own cards that I've been playing with. Ooh, baby, them cards do not lie, y'all. I'm like, this shit crazy. Then the motherfucker. Anyway. I dreamt that she told me a number. She came and told me, uh, I don't know why she gave me these numbers. But I've been playing that shit in the lottery. It ain't hit though. But she told me nine, it was it, it was eight, nine, oh. And I was like, eight, eight, nine, oh. And at first she was like, yeah, no. Nah. She was like, no, eight, nine, oh. I was like, eight, nine, oh, okay. When I woke up the other morning and I looked those numbers up, guess what that shit was about? Me becoming stronger in my intuition stronger in my enlightenment stronger in my walk all of that everything see this is what i'm saying see the universe be sending you messages and they'll let you know whether you on the right path or not the cosmos will let you know that thing that people call god ain't nothing but the god dang on energies of the universe that's all it is and people kill me with that god shit who goes to say it was one thing that created every motherfucking thing how the how people know it wasn't multiple it wasn't multiple entities or multiple things going on. Like, how the shit, the animals can have their own God. How people know it ain't an animal God out there in the cosmos that created animals. A plant God that created all the plants. No, nobody knows shit. And they keep trying to make up this one entity. But let me tell you something about that. Every God that's ever been created, it can always be traced back to the origin of the cultures that created it. Ain't shit divine about none of these gods. The only thing is real is energy. The only thing that's real is the cosmic forces. Because guess what? Ain't nothing nobody can do about that. You cannot, you can't change the energies. 
You can't you can't manipulate the energies. You can't do nothing about the, the energies. Is going to do what the energies is going to do. Now, either you're going to roll with it, or those energies is going to roll over your ass. And this is why a lot of people suffering and can't find healing within themselves because they're looking everywhere except for what's inside of themselves. They've been deprived of it. Why? Because religion tells you it's evil and demonic. I was told when I went to the elders when I was younger, I was like, I'm having dreams and premonitions about stuff that's happening and then it's happening. You know what they told me? Those are, you have demons on you. Those are demons. That's demonic. That's not a God. So they had me scared of my own damn natural gift. So this is the shit I'm trying to suppress something that's natural to me and... The shit was making me nuts. Because I'm like, what the fuck? Every time the, you need to pray, you need to read your Bible. And I'm doing all this, right? Man, them damn psychic abilities. That shit kept getting. The more I tried to run from it, the stronger that shit got. And I was just like, what the hell? Now I get it. I was running from my own assignment. One thing I'm going to say about the Bible. Because I don't knock everything about religion. One thing I don't knock about it is the moral lessons that you can get from it. You can get moral lessons from any mythology. That's what mythology is for. It's, to, it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of allegories full of moral lessons. That's all the Bible is. The story about Jonah and the whale or the fish, being in the belly of the fish, he had this, that was the same moral lesson. He was running from his assignment. And what happened? He tried to kill himself and jump in the water. And their book, their, their God came and, 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 and the fish picked him up and took him back to Nineveh. Uh, Nineveh, whatever. And but the thing is, from where Jonah was to going back to where he was at, it's like traveling from Europe to China. You ain't getting there in no goddamn three days and on no water. What the fuck did the fish have? Some go-go gadget fins? What the fuck is they talking about? So this is how you know that shit, that story, that never did really happen. It was it was a, a allegory to... Bring out a moral lesson. And the moral lesson basically is telling you whatever you are destined to do on this planet, you can run from it all you want to. It's going to find you because you cannot control the cosmos. You cannot control, you can't control the cosmic, you can't control the cosmic energies. You can't do that. And man know they can't control the cosmic energies. So what do they want to do? They want to control this. They want to control your mind to suppress you from that and keep you dependent on their religion because guess what you're going to do when you get there? You're going to give them your money. You're going to be a commodity. You're going to become a head count. You're going to become a religious charity case. This is what you're going to do. And you're going to go and do the same shit every week. Scream, holler, cry. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Wet on the water. Well on the water. All that dumb shit. And you're going to leave and go home and you're still going to be depressed. You're still going to be in that unhappy ass marriage. You're still going to be smoking cigarettes and drinking like you, like, and, and can't, you know, still in that depressive state of mind. All that shit. Religion heals nothing. Nothing. Just like pharmaceuticals heals nothing. This shit is not meant or designed to heal you. You're not going to find healing nowhere but inside of you. So that's what my message is today. Your psychic abilities are normal. Stop fighting that shit. Telling you, listening to religion. Telling you, you can't think this way. You can't feel that way. You're not supposed to talk like this. You cannot possibly think you're going to live life to the complete fool. That you are destined to live out of a fucking book that's telling you the same shit over and over and over again. When life is full of changes. Constantly. Life is full of evolving changes. So there's no way one book... With the same shit in it all your life, repetitive bullshit is going to help you grow. Religion does not help you grow. It keeps you stagnant. It keeps you thinking childish. This is why people still in church listening to Little Red Riding Hood stories like Jonah and the whale, Noah's Ark, and dumb shit like that. Thinking all that shit really happened when it did not. Thinking that there's a motherfucking invisible man walking around here on earth called the devil. And he got a third of his people, his clique with him, his goons and shit. Okay, fucking with people. Uh, uh, mythology, baby. They're all fucking mythology, myth mythological stories. This, this is, it's all fairy tale shit. Okay, there's good energy, there's bad energy. If 
You're worried about an enemy, you should worry about yourself because you're your own enemy. Spirituality lets you know that. Religion will tell you some bullshit how your mind fucked up and how you're delusional. Spirituality is going to tell you if you got something going on that ain't right in your life, look in the mirror and you the reason why you you causing your own motherfucking detriment to yourself. Get your shit together. That's what spirituality is going to tell you. Don't go somewhere looking for somebody to save you because the motherfucker that's going to save you is the person that you're looking at. It's funny when we're little. I saw this meme floating around. It said that when you're young, you 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 think about, you fantasize about somebody or something coming to save you. And I had that shit bad, y'all. Like, I used to be in my room staring at my po my right on posters like, Michael Jackson, I just wish he could just come save me. I could just get lost in the woods and he just come find me and shit, take me home with him. And I could be a part of the Jackson family and shit. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Okay, they would have put my ass in the group. But anyway, you know, you think like that when you are young, but then you get older and you realize the only person that's coming to save you is the older version of you a lot of us haven't even healed that inner child within us yet because we still stuck in that place mentally because religion got us there we ain't growing and if you're not growing you ain't living you just existing because life is full of evolving changes pay attention to your dreams pay attention to the things that you see around you because that's the cosmos talking to you the, the universe does talk y'all but if you don't understand the language you ain't going to, if somebody come around you talking a language you don't understand, you ain't going to think they talking to you because I don't speak that language. They can't be talking to me. Same thing, if you don't understand the language of energy, then you're not going to hear the universe when it's talking to you, when it's trying to guide you and put you in alignment in which the way that you're supposed to be walking. Okay, colors are frequencies, words are frequencies, L numbers are messages from the universe. They can come to you through dreams, all that shit, man. Even subliminal messages, you know what I'm saying? It could be something you keep hearing and seeing everywhere you go. You like, why? You might even look at something, see a sign outside, and it might say one thing, and you might look at it and get a whole nother message from it. No, you're not crazy if that happens to you. That's the universe talking to you. Figure out why you got that message. Figure out why that frequency from that sign came to you. Or whatever it was that you saw and you took another message. Figure out why that, that, why that came to you and decipher that. See? So I just wanted to come here and let y'all know that, you know, we all are embedded with our own natural psychic intuitive abilities. I've been psychic all my life and didn't even know it. Thought I was crazy because of it. Thought I had demons on me because that's what my religion told me. When I dumped that shit, y'all, I've been so mentally free. And let me tell you something. Freedom is when you're bound to nothing. That's real spirituality. All right, y'all. Don't forget to check my um podcast out. I'm going to leave a link in the description box and even on all my other videos if y'all can go in there and check them out. Check, out, check me out, y'all. Tell me what y'all think. All right? Peace.